what is a medical tourism facilitator? Uh, a medical tourism facilitator provides assistance to medical travelers from A to Z. Um, they set up conference calls before the treatment's done, before the patient flies over, sees to get the treatment done, after the pa patient gets home, uh, maybe they need pre-op uh, uh, care, so that they set up a conference call with the overseas doctor. Um, they also minimize the risk and vet healthcare providers. So anybody can uh, get a cheap procedure overseas, but the, the key and the reason why uh, patients uh, seek out medical tourism facilitators is because they want to get a, a, a quality procedure from a reputable doctor. Um, they don't want to just pay uh, money and get a botched procedure. So as a medical tourism facilitator, they're looking for you to vet these healthcare providers and making sure they meet a certain standards of care. Um, also, facilitators are a single point of contact for patients. Um, so since you are uh, such a central part of setting up the medical trip, um, they should be able to reach out to you for any flight details, um, any uh, doctor's appointment, anything that has to do with their trip, they should be able to reach out to you and, uh, and find out that information. So you're one single point of contact for the, uh, for the medical traveler. Um, also, um, reduce the language uh, barrier. Um, you know, guys, you want to make sure that when you're coordinating these trips that somebody on staff at the overseas healthcare facility, that they speak the pa patient's native language or that at least they have a translator there on staff. That way, if the patient has any concerns, uh, if they have any pain that they want to communicate or, or, or anything, they can, they can be heard out by someone who speaks the nat native language and they feel more comfortable during the process. The transfer of medical records, uh, you want to make sure that you're transferring these medical records uh, a secure way, making sure that uh, uh, that they don't get in the hands of somebody else outside of you and the patient uh, in the healthcare provider uh, overseas. Um, you want to make sure you have a secure line that you're um, that you're sending these uh, these uh, transcripts and these medical records uh, to these overseas doctors. Why become a medical tourism facilitator? Um, one is to become your own boss. One reason why I'm passionate about working with medical tourism facilitators and uh, medical tourism startups is because uh, they have a vision of, of what they want to accomplish, uh, a business that they want to build. And I feel like it's my duty to uh, take the resources that I have, the knowledge, the experience, and help them achieve that vision that they're, that they're looking to accomplish and bring that vision to pass. Uh, another reason why people want to become a medical tourism facilitator is because you don't have to start out in some lavish uh, office. You don't have to have a brick and mortar uh, building. You can start out from a spare bedroom in your home and then build up to having that office space. Um, and then another reason is that you're helping people access high quality health care. Right. Some people, uh, a lot of these people are, are paying out of pocket. Right. They're self-paying patients. And so they need to find affordable health care. Uh, and sometimes in their home country, health care is very expensive. They can't afford it. So they look. Uh, they seek out other countries to try to find more affordable health care and high quality health care. Since you're vetting these health care providers, you're looking at their track record, you're making sure they have the necessary uh, certifications and accreditations, then they're, they're spending, they're saving money, and then they're also getting a high level uh, health care uh, procedure. So that's that's the good reason uh, to become a medical tourism facilitator. And you're solving problems, right? Um, health care is a problem in a lot of different countries around the world, and you're solving that problem by connecting them with quality uh, healthcare providers, and you're joining a, a, a growing industry. Medical tourism is growing by 25% each year, um, and between 11 and 14 million people travel for healthcare treatment each year, and I've seen figures up to 16 million, and the market value is uh, $439 billion, and it's projected to go to $3 trillion by 2025, so it's definitely an emerging uh, industry that's growing. Now, COVID-19, uh, the pandemic, it has affected medical tourism and it's affected these numbers. Um, but the good news is that we're through the thick of it. Um, global, uh, global Data, which is a data consulting company, um, they estimate that the medical tourism market will fully rebound to pre-pandemic levels by 2022, after which it will experience pre-pandemic growth. And we're already starting to see that, guys. We're really starting to see a spike in medical tourism again. Uh, but you don't wanna wait until the industry is in full swing. You wanna start the company right now put all your um, you know put all your resources and everything in order right now so when the industry does come back you're in a perfect position uh, to take advantage of it